Hi everyone, so God today is saying that congrats, congratulations on being the biggest fool, on being an honest fool. Congratulations, your reward is coming, your reward is here in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, people were thinking that you are just a fool. People were robbing you, people were doing as they pleased when it came to you. People did not value you. People did not honor their contracts with you. They did not honor their word with you. But God is saying that your reward is coming. They are thinking that they have won in this game. They are thinking that they have won in this round. But God is saying that he's about to shock them in a great way. He will shock them in a mighty way it is not over it is not over in the mighty name of jesus they might be thinking that now the rounds are done but god is saying that it is still to be continued he is still continuing and they don't even know that you are being you are continuing they don't even know that you did not give up because they don't even see you fighting back they see you being silent so they are thinking that you are stupid. They are thinking that they can take advantage of you. But God is saying that things are about to change in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why here when you read in the book of Genesis chapter 13, verse 31, the Bible says, so this was Jacob speaking to his uncle Laban. What wages do you want? Laban asked again, don't give me anything. Just do this one thing. And I'll continue to tend and watch over your flocks. Let me inspect your flocks today and remove all the sheep and goats that are speckled or spotted along with all the black sheep. Give this to me as my wages. In the future, when you check on the animals you have given me as my wages, you'll see that I have been honest. If you find in my flock any goats without the speckles or spots or any sheep that are not black, you will know that I have stolen them from you. All right, Laban replied, it will be as you say. But that very day, Laban went out and removed the male goats that were straight and spotted, all the female goats that were speckled and spotted or had white patches and all the black sheep. He placed them in the care of his own sons, who took them a three who took who took them a three days journey from where Jacob was. Meanwhile, Jacob stayed and cared for the rest of Laban's flock. Hallelujah. So you can see here that these people had an agreement. Jacob had an agreement with his uncle and his uncle had agreed that it is fine. But that very same day, he went and took away those speckled or spotted flocks and gave them to his own children. But now the Bible still says that, but Jacob stayed and cared for the rest of Laban's flock. I'm sure Laban was thinking that I've won this round. He was thinking that he has won. He has already uh, removed the things that were supposed to be making uh, Jacob rich but God did said that it is not game over but what I like about this man is that he still maintained his silence he still stayed some of you you might have been in companies where they had promised you that come next season they will be promoting you and guess what has happened they've given your position to someone else they had promised you that come next season you will be getting an increase and guess what happened you did not get it or guess what happened now now you were moved to another place where you can't even complain but God is still saying it does not matter how they cheated you you are still going to be bouncing back you just need to stay right where you are and care for the rest of Laban's flock do what you are supposed to be doing do your task stay right where you are because God is going to give you a way out. God will give you an instruction on when to move, how to move, and how to move with something. Because when people sometimes move, because when sometimes people are in organization and they find that they have been mistreated, sometimes the anger gets hold of them. They live without a plan B. They live without even gathering enough money for them to be unemployed. Or they even live without them having another job 
job only to go out now and begin to suffer and then they still blame god that god why did you have to allow this to happen while well, they could have stayed and end their salary and plan their next move so you could see here now jacob was busy planning his next move that is why he stayed and cared for the rest of laban's flock so god is also saying that you need to stay right where you are and plan your next move wait for god to tell you wait for god to give you his, his, his instruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Also remember Jesus when he told them that you need to stay here until the Holy Spirit comes. Don't leave. So it shows that you need to stay until you are given the go ahead. That is why here when you read verse 37, the Bible says, Then Jacob took some fresh branches from poplar, almond, and plain, and, and plain trees and pulled off strips of bark, making white streaks on them. Then he placed these peeled branches in the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink. But where, but, but that was when, where they mated. And when they mated in front of the white streaked branches, they gave birth to young that were streaked, speckled, or spotted. Jacob separated those lambs from Laban's flock. And at mating time, he turned the flock to face Laban's animals that were straight or black. This is how he built his own flock instead of increasing Laban's. Whenever the stronger females were ready to mate, Jacob would place the peeled branches in the watering troughs in front of them. Then they would mate in front of the branches. But he, did, he didn't do this with the weaker ones. So the weaker lambs belonged to Laban and the stronger ones were Jacob's. As a result, Jacob became very wealthy with large flocks of sheep and goats, female and male servants, and many camels and donkeys. Hallelujah. So you can see from where we have read, yes, Laban thought that he was sabotaging. He was sabotaging Jacob, but guess who he was sabotaging? He was sabotaging himself because now his flocks were no longer growing. His flocks were no longer strong. His flocks now became the weak one because now Jacob now was focusing on his own flocks, on making sure that they are the ones that are growing. They are the ones which are healthy. Hallelujah. So God is also saying in your life, yes, your enemies might be be robbing you they might be cheating you but god is going to find a way out for you god is going to give you a way out and when he gives you a way out guess who's going to become very wealthy it's going to be you guess who's going to become very rich guess who's going to have plenty who's going to have many it is going to be you in the mighty name of jesus so you could even see that here though jacob was cheated they could not stop the blessing from flowing because the blessing was on him the blessing was not on the flocks but the blessing of the lord was on him so god is also saying that even if people can take what is around you it's not going to block you from succeeding because the blessing is upon you. He's put that blessing on you so that everything that you touch, it can prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.